Hello everyone, my name's Paula Matthew and I teach at Boston College. And Steve Parks has asked me to talk today a little bit about how I went from my dissertation to a book project. So I'm going to do that. I completed my dissertation in 2001 and it was called Questions of Empowerment, Teaching Writing at a Community Street Paper. And then my book was entitled Tactics of Hope, the Public Turn in English Composition, and that came out in 2005. So by the titles alone, you can tell there was a pretty big difference from what I wrote in a dissertation and what I wrote in a book. So I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, my dissertation looked at teaching writing at a community street newspaper in Chicago, working with mainly homeless or have experienced homelessness um, adults and there were different writing situations. One was a writing group, a creative writing group, and the other was a writing class to help people get credit and GED credit. And I looked at um, the claims of empowerment that were being made, both in the organization and in the field of writing studies and the time about what empowerment means and in what way writing empowers. And so I looked at the questions of how street paper was looking at empowerment as well as the comp world was looking at empowerment. And in short, there were lots of differing definitions and the definitions basically changed uh, to suit the rhetorical situation and meant anything from helping people get a job to helping them feel better inside. So there was no shared definition of empowerment, not surprisingly. Um, and I found in my own work that the writing that really drew the writers was uh, the writing group, uh, the creative writing group and the creative projects we did, rather than the more transactional school-based GED work. Okay, so that was my dissertation. Um, and I don't know if I could have turned that into a book, just as it was. Um, as it was, I did one or two articles, which I recommend. I did an article with the writers in the group um, in a collection on writing groups. And we looked, it was called Questions of Time. And we looked at what it means to be a writing group who have very little time, especially being homeless. Um, and then I published another article in a collection called City Comp. So I had published some things from the dissertation, but I guess it didn't feel like that itself was a book. So I went and worked um, at Boston College and with the street newspaper in Boston called Spare Change News, and then um, created some other projects. And from there, I was developing more of an overarching theory of community work. And the one thing I did know from both dissertation and book was that I wanted a project to teach the field of writing studies or composition or rhetoric from things I had learned in community groups, that I thought the community was a terrific source of wisdom in ways that um, our scholarship just hadn't really touched on yet. So that was the 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 thread that stayed the same. But over time, um, I was working both um, with Spare Change News, developing new projects, um, and talking to other people, interviewing people at nonprofits about their experiences working with schools. And so that question of what can we learn and who do you need to be? What kind of credibility do you need to have in order to engage productively in a community project became kind of my interest. Um, my working title originally for Tactics of Hope was Street Cred because it was a question about credibility and how do you gain that credibility and to who in whose eyes do you need to be credible. But I thought the word street cred sounded a little too much like crud, and I didn't think it would work. And I wanted a little more positive title. And it was really through the through the act of writing and reading um, that I went back to Michelle de Certeau, who I had read for my uh, dissert for my exams, my PhD exams, and thought a lot about the distinction between. Um, strategies and tactics. And I also had been reading Ernst Bloch on hope and thought that that's what I really wanted to bring about, that 
what really struck me about my work with street papers and other community groups was how incredibly hopeful they were and not in some Pollyanna, oh, I hope for the best, but hope as reflection, action, and emotion all bound up together. And so that became more the focus of the book. And I decided to focus on the different sites of working in the streets. So um, it focused on students in the streets, street life in the classroom, um, uh, street writing itself, and then academics in the streets. So, um, so it's completely different. And as it turns out, my book has uh, chapter two comes in part from my dissertation. Um, but in the end, that was the hardest chapter to write for me because it entailed so much rewriting. Um, chapter one included some of the literature overview that I did for my dissertation, but largely completely rewritten. Um, and then chapters three, four, and five were completely new. So in the end, very little of my dissertation went into my book, but all the work I did for my dissertation helped me do my book. Um, and like I said, um, I finished my dissertation in August of 2001, and Tactics of Hope was published in 2005. So it didn't take years and years to develop this new um, idea, but it did take maybe a year and a half of teaching before I seriously started working on it. So I guess my advice would be don't rush and um, and just because you wrote it in your dissertation doesn't mean it has to be a book. And I think a book should be something you're really excited about. So if you have an idea that really excites you, then I say go for it. If it's just, oh my God, I wrote this dissertation, what am I gonna do with it? Then I would think, well, what's really new here? What do people need to know? And that might be more easily packaged into an article or two. And I think a dissertation, a book project should probably be a little larger or um, speak to the field a little more directly than what a dissertation project should be. And also, I think there's a freedom in writing a book project um, that I'll admit in chapter one of Tactics of Hope, I felt a little bit still like the grad student saying, I want you all to know that I've read all this stuff in order to make my argument. But in the end, that was maybe the least fun chapter to write. And um, I would urge you all to um, show your expertise and sh talk about the texts that are really important to you, but take the time to tell a story, write something that academics want to read and that other people want to read. I think um, a book should engage people and be worth reading and not be something you feel like you have to do. It's such an amazing gift and privilege to be able to write and to be able to think about writing a book. And so I think anyone who's considering a book project should think about what is truly most meaningful and important for you to write about, and that's where you'll find your book. And you'll be surprised. I think much of your dissertation will be in there, but I don't think they have to be and necessarily should be the same thing. So um, good luck. And if any of you want to talk about your work, I'm at Boston College. Just shoot me an email. You can look me up on the web page. And, um, and happy writing. It, it's a great, great gift that we have to be writers. So enjoy that. Thanks. Goodbye.